So yeah, obviously we're back for episode two with our special guest Ashandin. Say hello. Man. Hi. Th- thanks yeah. for joining the podcast. Yeah. No problem, G. Because obviously, like, we wanted like a range of people to come on. Yeah. So it's kind of sick to so, have you. Yeah, if you want to come on, just, just like just drop a comment or a DM or something. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, let's just get into this, isn't it? Yeah. So um, basically, just introduce yourself, isn't it? Well, just uh, tell us what you what did you study. And um, where? So my name is Shandon. I went to go. Loughborough University okay. and I studied automotive engineering, a master's in automotive engineering. Um, did a five year course, so I did a placement as well. And then now I currently work as a systems engineer at a company in Coventry. Come on. Oh, wait, so you did, like, you did uh, MNG? Yes, I did MNG. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so, like, obviously, when you applied, did you. Did you, did you know you wanted to do an M or like was it? Yeah, I de- definitely wanted to do M I was not going to do a bachelor's. Like, I mean, three years was good, but I thought five years. I mean, I did look at the years. I just looked at the M engine looked better than the B engine. Yeah, yeah. And you did that placement year, and so were you looking for that as well? The placement year was more of a if I got it, I got it. If I didn't, then oh, run it, yeah, I'll just yeah. carry on complete my degree. So. It was a very last minute thing. So I only got my placement. Like I did my interviews and all that in April. Yeah. Um, and then in April, um, they gave me a job within like a couple of weeks. So oh, so that's April I of your second year or third year? It was April of my third year. So I, in my second year is when I wanted to do it, but then I applied and I got nothing. Yeah. Um, but then I realized if I do my third year and then go in placement, I've got a lot more experience as well. And when I come back, it's only one more year to complete. So I thought I'll do it that way. Sure. Um, so this was after my third year, I did it. And then I came back with one year left and I finished that as well. So, nice. so did the uni like help you with like finding any placements or anything? Yeah, so they gave me links, contacts. Um, they sent us like weekly emails or whatever it was of um, what you call. They'll be like, these are the companies I've contacted us. Um, please find attach their um job descriptions and the application process, or whatever. And then you had the careers website on the help side as well. So yeah. there was a lot of outlets there to help you. Um, but I kind of this one I found. Actually, no, this one surprisingly I did find it through the uni's career website. It was just there. Oh, sweet. So obviously, like looking back, do you think that did it actually help you? As in the placement or um, like the the uni's career, the careers people, did it actually help you? Find oh yeah, hundred percent. Um, because oh, if, with my with my CV, for example, everything, all, everything that's on my CV, the way it's formatted, the way it's structured, everything was all from the university careers website. And like I said, the job at the placement I did was found on the careers website. So if it wasn't for the careers website, I would have never found that place anyway. Like I've never heard of the company before. I didn't realize they existed. So that's pretty oh. sick. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, just just like just talk about your experiences for, like throughout your throughout your time at uni. Like, like you lived out, isn't it? So obviously it's kind of different. Yeah. yeah. Um, because like a lot of us, we we commuted to uni, but you lived. So how was that living out? So I lived out because I wanted to get the experience of uh, going out. So all my unis applied to, apart from City of London, everything else was outside outside London. Yeah. And Loughborough is the only one I kind of went to in terms of open days and everything. And I enjoyed it. Like, I liked the whole atmosphere it was, the whole campus, everything was nice. So I enjoyed it. So I knew straight away that's where I wanted to go. And with Loughborough, it was, everything's on campus. Like, there was, you had a nice, quiet, calm town outside as well. But everything you needed was pretty much on campus. Um, you had gyms, you had the library, you had the shops, you had food places. Everything was there. So it was a very good experience. Like, I will definitely recommend it. Um, I mean, I've, I haven't gone to any unis in London, so I don't know how they are, but Definitely outside of London, the unis are much, um, much more bigger, much more campus-like. They're they're very nice experience. Yeah, that's cool. So like, because obviously, you know, when you live out, you kind of you have that freedom to do whatever you want. Yeah. But like, did you find it hard to sometimes do work because you had like distractions and stuff? Yeah, I procrastinated a lot. <laughs> um, but no, I did. I mean, it was. I don't think I don't think it's any different. I mean, doing work, it's no different to being at home as well. Like. It's it's down to the individual and how much work they want to do and how much they want to get out of it. Yeah. Um, I for me, uni was just an experience that you just had to make the most out of. Um, so however much you put in was however much you got out. So if you were to just sit in your room doing nothing, then you were never never going to experience it. So it was one of those things, and I just yeah made the most of it, I guess. And what isn't you- isn't wait is, sorry isn't Loughborough known for like the sports stuff? Like you got cricketers coming down and all that. Yeah, so Loughborough is known as the big sports uni. Um, you do have, they are good for engineering as well. I mean, they are, they were, I mean, the last time I checked, they were the number one for sports in the world. Yeah. Um, but engineering oh. isn't that bad as well. They're very good for engineering as well. 
Um, and then you mentioned quick, cricket. So they do have the National Cricket Centre there, um, which is where they, all the England players, male and female players, train. Um, and I remember when I was there, I think I met two England players. Like when I say met, I don't go talk to them or anything, but they walked <laughs> past me. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I remember, say, Pakistani player also dropped by in a Ranger ever once as well. So, um, yeah, the ECB is there. But you, I mean, cricket's not the only sport. You've got hockey there. Um, uh, you've got loads of players from Loughborough who play for the England hockey team, for Britain hockey team, sorry. Um, you've got footballs. We've got, like, I think five football pitches and, like, a stadium as well. Um, you've got rugby pitches. You've got all these other multiple sports that they play. So, yeah, it's very big. And the gyms are very nice as well. With a swimming pool on site as well. So, yeah. Nice. You see, like the, you see the sports. Here. Is it like, is it just for the the teams? Like, if you get in, or is it for anyone? So imagine I want to join so, the, the football society, but I don't want so to. The, so the thing is, with the sports, there is you got the elite ones um, where they are yeah. the professionals who play um, very good players and stuff. But then you've also got something um, called IMS, which is your halls. So if you lived in halls, for example, you'll be playing against other halls in um, in matches in different sports. So not just football or hockey or whatever. It'll be a variety of range of sports. Um, then you've also got societies who have their own um, society teams and they'll play sports as well. Um, so there is a wide range of options for everyone to get involved in. Um, I don't think I played, even though I lived in halls, I don't think I played in the halls one. Um, but I did play in the society's football match, which is a seven-a-side game. Um, so I got involved in that a little bit. Right. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. So obviously, um, take a, take us back in it. Why why did you pick automotive engineering? Because like, I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm I never heard of it before. Right. Yeah, no, nah, that's a good one. Um I, I I knew I wanted to do engineering, right? Because I was good at maths and the science was like like when I gave my cover letter to all those um, teachers back in school, they always they all got shocked. Like they were like, Clap, why are you doing um, engineering? Why isn't why aren't you doing maths? They all thought I was gonna do maths at uni. <laughs> that's why I enjoyed. But I, I knew doing maths and uni would be a bit boring, it's just numbers. I wanted to do something more open, much more kind of involved it had to have maths but you had to have something else as well and for me science was the area field that i chose and so i knew it was engineering so i kind of narrowed down to engineering and then i was like what do i enjoy in engineering and i thought electricity and that sort of stuff now nah, electrical engineering can't do that chemical engineering i thought about because i like chemistry so i thought that would be a decent shout so that was there as an option as well um but then i thought nah i like cars too much so i thought about doing aeronautical automotive to so say i kind of narrowed it down to those two um and then it just came down to writing your personal statement and i realized that when I tried to write a personal statement for aeronautical engineering, I just couldn't do it. I, there was there was just no passion coming through, so I couldn't write one. Yeah, Whereas right, when right. I t- switched it for automotive engineering, I can write a lot more. I was able to write a very good one, which the teachers thought were really good enough to send off. Um, so then that's how I narrowed it down to automotive. I just yeah, it's just an interest in cars, and I guess that I enjoyed doing that. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, so you, actually, you actually had a passion for it. In a way. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I kind of just narrowed it down, I guess. But yeah, yeah. passion for cars is what led to it, to my change name, pretty, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. So, like, obviously, like, you're done now. Yeah. <clears throat> what um, what advice or like tips would you give to someone who wants to apply to automotive engineering? See, the thing with automotive engineering, I mean, you got to have interest. You got to be passionate about cars and vehicles and all that. But at the same time, it's not just for engineering, but for any degree you apply to at uni. You got to, uh, what you got. You got to have some sort of interest in it, yeah. and you got to definitely enjoy the experience as well. There's no point um, applying for a course that you say, okay, fine, I'll do it just to get the degree paper because you're not going to enjoy it and you're not going to get the get what you want out of it. Um, so it's pretty much what you put in, what you get out. So definitely think, I guess, before think what you enjoy the most, think what you're going to enjoy, and then go go from there. And of course, like I think. You probably want to have like A level maths or something, you know, physics or whatever. Oh yeah, A level. I mean, to be fair, I mean, since I've graduated now with a degree, I can say that openly, my physics was crap. I got. Amen. <laughs> um, big up, big up. <laughs> I mean, but then again, I got A star in maths and further maths. So I mean, I got A star in maths and A in further maths. So those yeah. two in combination help. Um. So at the end of the day, I guess grades don't matter. Um. It's just, I guess, just I don't know. It's just show your passion. Um put the work in and then yeah what you put in what you get out of it so that's it so so yeah. obviously like um talk to us about the experience of the degree like the learning side of Loughborough did you think it was good like the lecturers and stuff like that? see that, it was a very I mean I went to all my lectures I think there was only a few handful which I missed um not a lot and I went to all my lectures went to all my tutorials um lecture wise it was depends like you had a very mix so there were some lectures which were boring and some which were um, informative and then there were some which were just more of an entertainment type. Um, so there's a very broad range um, and you just had to kind of put your effort in to get at the most out of it. 
Um, for me, there were some lectures which I enjoyed, especially the ones where they provided no lecture notes, no training, no nothing, and you had to be there to learn everything. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, and yeah. Because those are the ones where you had to be there, you had to pay attention to know what you're doing. Um, and that's when you realize it was more rewarding that way because you get to learn more as well. Um, the ones where everything was given to you too easily, you take lightly, you don't care about, you know everything, it's going to be pretty easy. It's going to be a walk in the park type thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So th- on that side, it's a very mixed, mixed bag. But overall experience at Loughborough unit automotive engineering was um, was good, I'd say. Like it's definitely worth the experience, and like you do get hands-on experience. You do a lot of um, you do a lot of learning, a lot of hands-on. So it's a very very mixed. So good. Nice. So yeah. So obviously, uh, looking back, yeah. Would you have changed what you studied, or like, are you happy with what you did? I'm happy with everything I did. The only choice that I probably would change is um, I lived in halls for four years, so I probably may have got a house to rent and maybe stayed out. I mean, I don't regret it as much, but I mean, currently I stay in the house anyway, so it's still the same experience, but maybe that part of it, like rather living in halls for four years, I might have changed it a bit. Um, but other than that, no, I think the whole experience, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Sick. That's so sick. There you go, sir. So, like, if you guys are looking at automotive engineering, consider Loughborough, you get yeah, I swear, I swear, like, um, Loughborough's on the rise now. Like, it's like, you know, like, before, yeah, it was like, before you, before you went to Loughborough, like, it was, it was all right, in it? But then now it's like, it's shooting up those, the, the league tables, man. Yeah, it's it's shooting up the league I mean, I, there was only one person I ever knew of who went to Loughborough, and that person, I only found out he went to Loughborough after I had finished applying. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. The way I came across Loughborough was, funny enough, when I was looking at cricket, I was looking at, like, um, I just look at like cricket um, universities who the cricket take leagues and who plays cricket and all that. And that's when I came across that Loughborough had the MCCU team, which is like a a count equivalent county equivalent team. And there was a certain, there's not just Loughborough, but Oxford has it, and a few other unis have those sort of teams. Um, but that's where I first came across Loughborough, and I started digging into Loughborough and where they are, um, what sort of courses they offer, and all that. So yeah, no, it's now it's definitely on the rise. But back when I applied, yeah, I no one ever knew about it. So I think it might it might be because of you. Is on the rise now. You get it. <laughs> just keeps just, just spreading it, That's spreading it everywhere. Yeah. You did bits a lot of it. So yeah. Um, as a final note, I asked this to Kaz as well previously. Um, oh, yeah. I, on a scale of one to ten, like obviously ten being the the great, like the best. Um, how do you rate your entire experience at Love, bro? Like everything academically, yeah, how, socially, hundred percent ten. There's, there's Whoa, no doubt that. about it. Hundred percent ten. Nice. So if if La, if La, Loughborough's watching, like you know, you've done a good job yeah. with Shandon. You did a great job. Yeah, that's sick. That's sick, man. That's good because you know sometimes you hear people say like, "Oh, it wasn't as good as they thought it would be." So it's kind of good to hear that you find it good. Now, like I said, it's just for me personally. Like I said, I put a lot of effort into stuff. So I was part of the uni. I was uh, went to my degree. I was part of halls. I was part of societies. So I did a lot. So I got a lot in return. Yeah. Um. There are people who hated the experience. Like I've spoken to a wide, like I've spoken to numerous people um across different fields, different um areas, across different countries and everything, and they've all had mixed experiences. So it's just yeah, for me personally, it was the best experience, um because I did so much there, um and it taught me so much as well. But so, yeah, it's it's never going to be the same for two people. So somebody yeah. out there might not like it. Cool. That's it. Yeah. I think we'll just wrap it up, isn't it? If you have any like comments, like any aspiring automotive engineers or any en- engineers in general, if you have any questions about engineering, Loughborough, or just like yeah, engineering in general, just like drop a comment and Ushan will happily <laughs> answer <laughs> answer the question. You yeah. get it? <laughs> we we might need you back for round two if it gets big. So you, know. you get it. Yeah, why not, man? Why yeah, not? Thanks for coming in. It. No problem. Appreciate that, man. Peace. Cool.